All right, folks, it's here today, Eclipse Day across the country. And just about everybody in the continental United States will have the potential to see the moon at least partially block the sun. However, more than 31 million people could get a chance at total darkness, and there may be no better place to watch it than in Junction, Texas, which is where we find Jay Gray this morning. Good morning, Jay. Sarah, Ben, good morning to you. We are in the Texas Hill Country and just a few hours away from this astronomical drama playing out here. Of course, when you have a drama, you've got to have a villain. And playing that role right now is the forecast because we could see some heavy cloud cover. The eclipse begins its U.S. journey in Texas and in the heart of the Hill Country, history getting a proper Lone Star welcome. Riding and roping, picking and grinning, a washer's tournament, and sipping Eclipse wine from a Texas vineyard. The Texclip Festival, turning the Eclipse into a three-day celebration. For those that are coming for the Eclipse, we wanted to give them something to do while they're here. Games, goods, even local royalty gathering outside the county courthouse, Eclipse chasers coming from across the country and around the world, hoping for that rare glimpse of the moon aligning with the sun, completely blocking its powerful rays. It's incredible. It's something you remember your whole life. The path of totality moves from the Pacific to the Atlantic across 15 states, home to more than 31 million. But forecasters warn a big part of that path could be covered in clouds. The Exploratorium Museum in San Francisco, teaming with NASA, will stream the event live across the globe. And after two years of research and planning, their telescopes and cameras are surrounded by blue bonnets and hay bales betting on clear skies in junction. We studied the weather maps, we talked to weather folks, and it turns out this is the best place in the United States in terms of weather. Everyone along the path of the eclipse hoping they'll be left in the dark in just a few hours. Yeah, and a very unofficial update on the conditions right now. I'm looking in the sky and you can still see the stars over Texas right now. So it's clear at this point. The forecast has gotten a little better over the last 24 hours. If it holds off, we'll see the partial eclipse begin here at 1214 Central. We move in totality at 132 with more than three full minutes of darkness. So like millions across the country, we've got our fingers crossed here, Ben and Sarah, hoping that we get to see this history unfold. Jay, safety first. You do have your nifty glasses, don't you? <laughs> I do have the glasses. Okay. I am prepared to use them. I, I hope they're useful. Again, I, I'm worried about these clouds. <laughs> you may not need them, actually, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. All right. Jay, Jay thank you're here for your live for us in Texas. <laughs> Jay, thanks, sir. We appreciate it. And be sure to catch our special NBC News special coverage of the solar eclipse. That's coming your way. 2 to 4 o'clock right here on WCNC Charlotte.